It's time for some real education. The Course of Empire, Desolation, Thomas Cole's final painting in his series. We've been talking about the Course of Empire. What happens to a country that starts off with a, 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 as a small country with a good idea, like America did, that ultimately gives way to empire? Empire ultimately gives way to destruction and desolation. Take a look at the last picture in the series. We've seen uh, the, pro the progress across these five paintings for Thomas Cole. And here we have the last one. Uh, this one is called The Course of Empire, Desolation. So what we see here is the fifth and final painting in the Course of Empire series by Thomas Cole. Thomas Cole was born in 1801, died in 1848. He was a, 1849, he was a remarkable painter who had a very moralistic point behind his paintings. If you think about the series as we've watched it over the last five days, it starts from uh, uh, the birth of a nation, basically, and how that nation becomes a bit too big for its britches, begins to involve itself in global affairs, becomes an empire, not an actual rep representative republic or democracy. And finally, we saw the rise of that empire and then the fall of that empire. And what happens after empires fall? What's the final stage of the uh, course of empire as painted by Thomas Cole? It's, Cole? it's this fifth painting called Desolation. It shows the results decades later after the fall of what was a once vibrant civilization. The remains of the city here are highlighted in the livid light of a dying day. The landscape has begun to return back to the wilderness. All that building, all of that construction, all of that opulence and wealth is become, becoming overgrown by the weeds. In another thousand years, it'll all be ruined. Uh, a, a, a terrible uh, plague of visitation on the hubris of human beings. So we see how the landscape has begun to return to wilderness and humans are not to be seen, no people, but the remnants of their architecture emerge from beneath a mantle of trees and ivy and other grow overgrowth. The broken stumps of the, what used to be the lighthouses loom in the background. The arches of the shattered bridge and the columns of the temple are still visible for the, to the naked eye, but a single column looms precariously in the foreground, how, now a nesting place for birds and other fowl. The sunrise of the first painting is mirrored here by the moonrise, a pale light reflecting in the ruin-choked river, while the standing pillar reflects the last fleeting rays of a dying sun. This gloomy picture suggests how all empires could be, could be and will be after their fall. It is a harsh and possible future in which humanity has been destroyed by its own hand. Think if you ever want to read a, a literary version of this kind of desolation, read uh, the great poem Ozymandias by Percy Bysshe Shelley. Ozymandias is a sonnet talking about this exactly picture, this, not this picture per se, but the same image, uh, a fallen empire and what remains, what little of it remains in the sand in the desert. Very compelling. Ozymandias, a nice written com uh, companion of this Thomas Cole painting.